Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be the ultimate guide for wrapping your hair. So let's just hop right into it because I don't know how long this video is going to be. In the beginning of this video, I am going to be showing you guys how I particularly wrap my hair. And then at the end, we're going to go through different lengths and how you should wrap your hair. If you have TWA, short, shoulder length, or bra strap length. So I'm just going to get right into it. So... I have a twist out, you guys see in the video on this, if you want to see how I got this twist out, I got you, right here. I want to go through how I would actually wrap my hair for a twist out or a braid out versus a wash and go. So um, let's just do the braid out one first, or twist out one first since we're here. So I do have a scarf, I like to use a satin scarf, I don't use cotton or anything of course, and it is in a square, it's a big square, okay. It's a huge square, actually. Let's see. Pretty big, but I got this from my mom, so I don't necessarily know. But you take the opposite ends, put them together, and make a triangle. Okay? Okay? I know y'all kind of know this, but there's some people out here who don't know how to do this. So, it's in a triangle, and I like to do a pineapple for when I have twist outs, braid outs, or any type of rod set. So the reason that I do a pineapple is because my hair is already stretched. My hair isn't going to stretch anymore because it's already in a stretch state. So I don't necessarily need a lot of stretching, but I do like to use pineapple for this. So what I like to do is uh, flip my hair over, go ahead and add the long side to the back. So then I like to go ahead and tie it. I like to bring as much hair as I can to the front and tie it. So do not stop right here. All of this hair in the back is all bushed up. You don't want that, y'all. You have to make sure this is a, not too super tight, but a little tight, and then take this part and pull it backwards, and then make sure your hair is smooth, and pull it back up. So now it's super smooth. Okay, and then you can tighten it up and tie it. Okay, so because my hair is so long um, in the front, I can't sleep like this, guys. I just, I just can't. Um, so what I like to do is put a bonnet on. This bonnet is by Embrace Me Naturally. I will put their link in the description bar so you guys can get it. But it's so big and it's is so silky and beautiful and I love it so I'm, I just add this uh, over my head like that and it's how I go to bed okay so in this state um, I like to do this this is a, a pineapple is going to stretch the back of your hair a lot so um, that's why I like to do it when I have braid outs and stuff it doesn't necessarily stretch it too much more because my hair is already stretched so it doesn't do anything so that's why I like to do the pineapple method when I'm doing twist outs or braid outs or whatever okay so now I'm gonna wrap my hair for a wash and go I take the same scarf this is the background behind my wash and goes so if I do the pineapple method in a wash and go state the back of my hair just end up being super smushed and I do not like that because it's super long in the back but everything else isn't as long so I don't like to do the pineapple for um for my wash and goes and I also don't like super volume like right here because I feel like it just doesn't frame my face really well I like for this to be a little like sleek like kind of you know down or whatever so this is actually my favorite way of tying my hair now so I take the scarf and I do it like a do-rag like I literally Take these two. All right. Also, make sure your hair is all back. You don't want it to be, or to the side. You don't have it. Don't have to be completely back, but it can't be like you know on the side of you. Um, and then you just tie it up. Whoop. Pull that back a little bit. Just make sure all your hair is in, and tie it in the front. Now this is how I like to do it for wash and goes. And as you can see, this kind of covers the rest. So you can either leave it like this or you can go ahead and put a bonnet on if you want to. But I feel like the bonnet for this one isn't as necessary because nothing's in my face. So 
I just kind of wear it like this. And if I'm like around people, I'll pretty much wear it like this. If I wear the pineapple, as you can see, it's too much going on in my face and I can't see. I, can't, I just can't do anything, okay? So this is how I wrap my hair when I do my wash and goes. It keeps this up here nice and sleek and tamed and nothing happens to your curls, by the way. Like my curls and my waves and all that stay intact with these methods. And I still have like this volume back here. So, and it's just free. So it's not smushed or anything. And that's what I like. It just works out for me. <laughs> this is actually the better way. Like if I was to pick one method, I would actually choose this as opposed to the pineapple, but pi pineapple works as well. Those are the two methods that I use to wrap my hair, but I have a few different scarves. I have the one where you just kind of wrap your edges. If I do this, I have to wear a bonnet with it. Um, and I also have this one. This is from, I think, Her Given Hair. Yes, this is from Her Given Hair. And this is really good for people with dreads. As you see, it has a drawstring at the bottom. And it really like, it's set in line and it's just so nice. So sometimes I'll use this one too if I have like extensions or something and my hair is a little bit longer. But um, yeah, so I do wanna get into different stages of your hair journey. Have my little notes here. Okay, so starting off for people with short hair and TWAs, for you I would say to definitely add a ponytail, maybe a few ponytails to your hair, tie your edges up and add a scarf, uh, add a bonnet to your hair. Um, I think that's just kind of the best bet. Of course, when your hair is a little bit shorter, you want to stretch it out a little bit because you want some length and some hang time. But you also want to make sure that you are slaying your edges or laying them down, making sure they're nice and sleek. Um, and then putting a bonnet on to protect those ponytails. It's pretty much the banding method. So you don't want to go all the way to the end. You want to leave your ends exposed and then just add your bonnet on, of course. The next length of hair I want to talk about is shoulder length so when I had shoulder length hair that was that was honestly exactly when I um got my diva cut it may be a little bit shorter than shoulder as you shorter than shoulder length but when I had shoulder length hair I would always do the, the pineapple because I wanted the back of my hair to appear longer if your hair is a little bit shorter and you like that longer look in the back and you don't really care about the front looking shorter than the back or anything like that then I would definitely recommend just doing the pineapple or banding your hair of course you can band your hair but I would not recommend banding your hair every night because that's just a lot no. sometimes you may just want to stretch the front of your hair you don't necessarily have to stretch all of your hair you don't have to necessarily band all of your hair if you feel like you want one side to be longer than the other like band one side it'll come out longer than the other and you'll probably have like a asymmetrical thing going on you know and then just put your bonnet on and go to sleep like that so there's so many different possibilities just kind of think about what you're looking for and what the solution would be for that look for mid back length of course that's where i am now kind of yeah i guess i guess you say that so basically my routine is what i recommend for that so um yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I don't, like I said, I don't pineapple a lot anymore. This will probably be my go-to type of hair wrapping situation. <laughs> but um, my hair comes out looking really good when I do it this way. So, I hope you guys really like this video. If it was very helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video.